It's Hunter from Hunter in the Gym, and today I'm reviewing my carpet. So, my carpet, I really like it, it's really sus, no, I'm just kidding. Um, please don't click off, I'm not reviewing the carpet. I'm reviewing the Tumble Track Laser Beam. And what the laser beam is, is it's a floor beam that's wider than normal. You want to, like, tilt it up so they can see? Wider than normal, so basically what you could do the other way, loco. And there's lines on it, so you can like... If, really practice your skills and get them. If you land in like a blue line, slash the... If you land your skills, like your feet are on the blue line, slash number three, then you know you are perfectly straight. If your foot is on, if one foot is directly on the blue, and one is like on the two, then you went a little crooked, and if you landed like your whole body on the four, around the two then you know you want super crooked so and obviously no one's foot is that skinny to fit directly on it so like if you land like this you're still straight but if you land like like that that's not straight or if you land like that that's not straight so the only way you know if her foot's straight is if you're like this so like watch you know back walk over you go i what i always do is i start with my left foot right in the middle and then I get my right foot and I put my big toe right on the three. I stretch up. So I went a little crooked because my back foot, my back foot's turned out because you're supposed to land. No, I had my feet opposite because your back foot is supposed to be straight landing right on the middle. And then your front foot, it's supposed to turn out a little bit. But I was kind of like this and like this. So I went a little crooked. So the skills that I'm working on right now are handstand back walkovers. My foot was like on the edge, but still, handstand back walkover. For the handstand, I had my thumbs on three, and I was like that. And then when I stepped down, this foot was a little crooked. So my back walkover, I swerved over that side. So that's why I kind of landed kind of like this. So let me do one one more time and I'm gonna make sure my back foot isn't turned out at all. I did not make that one, but when I saw and I stepped down from my handstand, my foot was straight. But what happened was uh, your body, my body's used to swerving, so my hands swerved. So I just need to work on that. Another skill I'm working on beam is straddle jump. I'm working straddle jumps, and on the high beam, they're just like, because your feet don't come together fast enough. So one of the great things about the laser beam is, is that you're able to build your confidence at home so when you get back into the gym to work out you've got the practice you know what's going to happen and you can feel good nice hunter how do you feel about that one good and the laser beam, what I noticed is that it's really good for back handsprings because for back handsprings, you guys know your hands have to be like this. Well, I don't know if you guys knew that, but some of you guys might have did because if, you're, if your hands are like this in a back handspring, you can't really like pick your hands up that fast. So one of your hands would slip, slip, you'd fall just like this, and you'd have a, like breaks all down your nose. So you have to have your hands like this. You can have them like this. You can have one like gripping the side of the beam and kind of like this. And what I noticed is that one hand is supposed to be kind of like spread out and one is supposed to be kind of like gripping the beam. So if you do it like this, you're gripping the beam. So you're, since I'm a righty, you're supposed to have your left hand in front, but I didn't feel comfortable like that. So my coach just said, do your right hand and I feel comfortable like that. My left four fingers are on the red and my 
and then, no, my left three fingers are on the red, my pointer is on the number two line, and my thumb is on the number four line. And then for my other hand, the hand that's in front. It's just opposite, right? Yeah. So you have to go like this. That's your hands in a back handspring. In a back handspring, your hands are like that. So when I do my other hand, my middle finger's on the blue line, and then my other fingers are just right out like this, and you put them down. So Hunter will get ready and show you a couple more skills that you can do on the laser beam. Maybe you aren't already at the back handspring or back walkover. Maybe you guys just need help on your cartwheel. Here are some easier skills that you can work on your laser beam if you're not yet doing back walkovers or back handsprings. So you can work handstands. If you're like, why would I need a handstand? Your hands, it doesn't matter. But your feet, when you land, you still need to be straight. So if you're landing on the blue every time, you're going straight. And then for cartwheels, do not worry. My cartwheels are terrible. I was never good at cartwheels. You can ask my mother. I fell on every one. <laughs> so at our gym, if we fall, the next practice, we have 25 of that skill. And then the next meet, if we fall again, then we have 50 and then 75 and then 100. So I have like 6,000 cartwheels to do. <laughs> See, as she said, <laughs> she's more comfortable doing the back handspring than she is a cartwheel. So basically for the cartwheel, you can either have your hands like this, where you're like gripping as part of the beam like this, or you can have your hands like this. Where yeah. you land way back against the wall. <laughs> or basically in a cartwheel, your hands are always gripping the side of the beam, and then you just fall off. You're like, but if I do a cartwheel like this, I'll fall and I'll land like this. Not true, it is not the same on the floor. I don't know how, because it's the same skill but you end completely different ways. It's a miracle. So if you guys are building your Christmas list and you're like, I want some gym stuff, I suggest you get this because I suggest you get everything from Tumble Track because I think they're great. But the Tumble Track laser beam is probably one of the things that builds Hunter's confidence so much on beam. She used to not like beam at all, but since she's had the laser beam, I like I let's just say today I do back tucks on the regular beam. I'd come home right from practice and I'd start doing back tucks on the laser beam because if you master it every time, if you master it every time like this, you'll be able to master it every time on the regular beam because it's the same thing, just a lot wider. So, okay, so make sure you guys get this on your Christmas list. It is the Tumble Track, Tumble Track laser, laser, beam. laser Beam. So the shout out goes to Chloe Asluz. I don't know if I said your name right or wrong, but that sounds like a cool last name, Asluz. A-U-S-L-O-O-S, yeah. I think. Okie dokie. All right, so make sure you get the Laser Beam, and if you get the Laser Beam, be like, send me pictures or send me a video on instagram like hey hunter i used to not have my back walkover but look i have my back walkover hey hunter blah blah blah, blah. so bye guys i hope you enjoyed this video peace out love you all subscribe like follow me on instagram twitter and musically nice and follow her mother oh yeah follow my mom on youtube She's trying to be one of those cool moms. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you, Mom. Um, I love you too, babe. Well, bye, guys. My stuff will be linked below, along with Tumble Track stuff.